Can you hear me now? Hello my friends, it's August 21st, 2018, and for today's big story we are talking about some Diablo 3 news. As you already know, Diablo 3 is coming to the Switch, and today we learned a few more details that were good bits of information. We found out that if you're buying the game at retail, the game card is going to contain all the information on it that you need. There's no required extra downloads, so it's not like Doom or something like that. The game card has everything. I don't know if they're going with a bigger game card than usual. I don't know if they've crammed everything down to the 16 gigs that we usually see game card sizes for. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. So you can just get the game and play it. You don't need to clear off like 20 gigs worth of space on your Switch to make room to play this game. So that's good. On top of that, they're supporting single Joy-Con play, which is also good. So if someone wants to play with a single Joy-Con, or if you have a friend and you want them to play and all you have is another Joy-Con, they can play that way. You use motion controls to dodge, but outside of that, everything else is a button. So that's a cool addition, something they didn't have to add in, but they're supporting. So good news there too. What's the bad news? Well, the bad news comes with voice chat. As you probably guessed from the beginning of the video, you're going to need the Switch Online app to do voice chat for Diablo 3. Yes, the mobile app that, as far as I know, only supports Splatoon 2 is going to add support for Diablo 3. That's according to Game Informer, who says you're going to need the mobile app if you want to do voice chat. Ay, the mobile app doesn't exactly make people happy, and I completely understand why. Um, and uh, I don't even know what to say about it. Uh, I, I guess Nintendo sees Diablo 3 as like a flagship title for the Switch, and something big this holiday season, and it has a large focus on uh, online play, and voice chat is important for it, so they're like, hey, Let's get some of that voice chat in there on the mobile app. And Blizzard was probably like, yeah, yeah, that sounds, that sounds great. Alejandro on GoNintendo says, does anyone really use the Nintendo app for voice chat? Discord for the win. That's the point right there. I have the app on my phone, but I've never used it to play Splatoon 2. That's the only thing, like I said, I think that's the only game that supports it right now. I've never used it. For that I've never used the voice chat on the app I got the app uh, and there were issues right at launch where you couldn't even let your phone go to sleep because it would disconnect your voice chat and uh, I have plenty of friends that own a switch it's just that they didn't want to use the app and normally I don't like crap on stuff like that I'm like give it a shot give it a chance but it's just a really hard sell it's like hey get this app for one game and now we're gonna have the second game. I'm sure more are coming. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's just a bit annoying and it really hasn't improved. Uh, and I don't know what they could do to improve it. You have options like Discord and people love Discord and people have been using Discord for a while now. So they already most likely have that on their phone or on their desktop that's by where they play games. So that's what they're gonna use. And then you have something like Skype, which, you know, it, it, I guess you call Skype old people Discord because <laughs> Skype's been around longer, does a lot of the same things, doesn't have, like, some, all the same features. But the voice chat and other stuff is there, so you could use that. Uh, with my friends, a lot of them already had Skype on their phones, so we use Skype, and we've been using Skype on our phones to play, uh, to, to, vo to do voice chat with multiple games on a Switch, like... We used it for Splatoon 2, we used it for Worms, we've used it for Mario Kart, we've used it for a whole bunch of other th other games. So that's just our solution, it's just easier and makes more sense. I don't know what Nintendo can do to make people want to use the mobile app. I don't, I don't think this is going to push them to use it. I think they're just going to talk to their friends on something else when they play Diablo 3. It's just going to be easier that way. Uh, I don't know what the future is for this app. I, I just don't say, see any way around it. Then on top of that, you have people saying, why can't it just be like Fortnite? Because with Fortnite, you literally just plug a headset into your Switch. Uh, you know, it could be uh, through USB or the, the headphone jack, and you just talk. There's nothing to set up. You literally just talk, and that's it. So people are like, why can't it be like that? I don't know why it can't be like that. It would be great if it could be like that. Obviously, there's the ability to make that work because Epic did it with Fortnite. I just think it's a case of Fortnite being so huge 
and Nintendo really didn't want to miss out on Fortnite any longer than they already did, I think Epic, because the game is so big, could be like, listen, we're coming to Switch, but this is how we're doing voice chat. And Nintendo was like, okay, you do it however you want. I think that was the case, whereas, you know, Diablo 3, I'm sure it's going to sell decently, but it's not going to be anywhere near as popular as Fortnite is, so they don't really have the leverage there to say, we want to do voice chat this way. Maybe those conversations happen and Nintendo turned them down. I honestly don't know, but we've seen it work better through the Switch itself with Fortnite. We've seen other apps do it better with Skype and Discord. So people aren't going to want to turn to the mobile app, and I really can't blame them. All right, my friends, that's today's big story for August 21st, 2018. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. I'll be back tomorrow for whatever tomorrow's big story is, and I sure hope you'll join me to check it out. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot!